Good day. The topic we are about to discuss is a computer input and output devices. We shall be looking at the definition of input device list of our input device or devices we shall also look at the states or we are going to state the future and uses of input of our keyboards we are also going to look at we are going to be operating the keyboard although I know that will not be a new thing again to you students we shall also look at uh, the states or state the future and uses of the mouse and then state how the mouse works together we are going to look at the uh, all this God's willing, we intend to achieve under imputed devices. Thereafter, we will be looking at the output devices too. We shall define output device, list output device. Then we are going to be looking at, you know, state the features of uh, output uh, the features and uses of monitors state the types of printers of various types of printers i want to state or mention some of them we shall also discuss or state the differences between impact and non-impact printer and then probably operate the printer I see a way of uh, letting you understand how the printer operates you sit back and listen well thank you students let's look at Input device. Input device are designed to allow us users of the computer send in data into the computer or into the computer system. So there are components of computers that are designed to enable us users of the computer sent in sending our data into the computer similarly entry devices are characterized by the following devices which are peripheral in nature they are one the keyboard two the mouse Three, we have the scanner. Four, we have the microphone. Five, we have uh, the joystick. Six, we have the light pen. Seven, we have the webcam. Eight, we have digital camera. Uh, examples of uh, input devices now let's begin to look at these devices one after the other we time may not permit us to take all of them uh, during the practical class at least we shall be discussing 
the very few ones we may not be able to discuss in the course of our explanation now. And let's look at the keyboard. The keyboard is a primary communication tool or device that allow users of this computer to send in their data into the computer or to communicate with the computer. There are different types of uh, keyboards. We have the standard keyboard, we have the enhanced or enhanced keyboard, we also have the wireless and we have the USB keyboard. Now let's look at the standard keyboard. The standard keyboard is designed for beginners. Using the keyboard system at the initial stage of learning, this is to enhance easy identification of the keys, the various keys, in order to fast track typing. What I mean by fast tracking here is, you know, to enhance quick typing of their documents or give them the enablement skill you know to speed up typing of document this type of keyboard has 101 keys on it then we have the enhanced keyboard this is an upgrade of the standard keyboard. You know what I mean by upgrade? You have manufactured one or produced one and then later on you discover that um, there are certain things you have not been able or you will not be able to do with what you have initially manufactured or produced and then you try to add you know to, to develop you know that is what I mean by uh, upgrade and that gives you a new product entirely at the end of the day that is new key would have been added to the standard keyboard for us to have an enhanced keyboard thereby modernizing it from the old keyboard, that is the standard keyboard, to now what we meant by enhanced keyboard or a more technologically oriented eh, keyboard. Then, three, we have the wireless keyboard. Going by the name wireless. Uh, it has to do with uh, keyboards that completely does not have wire to connect with your computer or laptop, whichever. It's a type of keyboard in which you know it is linked or interfaced directly and then proportionally to the signal of the central processing units just like your uh, remote control that you know is directly professional proportional to the television or whatever has a remote that you are using it could be your air condition it could be your tape it could be TV whatever so the wireless keyboard and lastly we have the usb keyboard the usb keyboard usb means simply universal 
serial bus, not box, as in D U S bus. That's one I'm talking about. It is universal because it can be used alongside laptop, desktop, computers. These are the four different types of uh, keyboards that we have. I have said we have the, uh, the standard keyboard, we have the enhanced keyboard, three is the wireless keyboard and then four we have the usb keyboard now let us also go into uh, discussing mouse mouse is a hard held device hard in the sense that you know it is hard it is a uh, you know solid and you handle in order to use so it is a hard held device held you hold with your hand held device which is designed it is designed to fit your palm your palm as in your palm it is designed to fit your palm this is your palm it is designed to fit your palm that is the fitting. So mouses are designed to fit your palm. The mouse is also an input device. It performs the following functions. One, it has a left clicking, you know, where you click once. It's also a right clicking has a right clicking where it helps you display options it enable you display option you right click you left click like this and then you right click like this and it displays options on the screen for you to select an action then there is also double clicking jaw or uh, function the mouse does you double click from your left click simultaneously twice that is double clicking and then we have the scroll button that enable you moves your double your document up and down the window pages this is the scroll button you scroll to move your document either up or down the mouse too are of different types we have them up to about a four the first one is the ps or two mouse if you go to where they play video games you see such type of a mouse it is round in shape round just round in shape circle and has some buttons you know four of them one two three four you know up down side by side button it is also a good example of a mouse ps mouse it's a two mouse way system. Uh, it is round in shape and characterized by pins in it. We have the serial mouse. This type of mouse, this type of mouse has a flat surface, flat like the keyboard, flat and the holes inside it flat as in rectangular shape with holes inside it that's another type of a mouse and then we do also have the optical mouse this type of mouse 
is fashionable in nature. They are mainly identified by the beautiful ties, tight as in T I G H T S, tight, that is associated with the mouth, especially when pegged to the CPU. Then, lastly, we have the USB mouse, mouse with a um, at the USB end to connect to the CPU or your computer or your laptop. We are all familiar with this type of uh, mouse. The optical mouse, rather than having a USB, that USB mouse has something like a circle, like this, with some pins, pins in it. If you look critically into this, this is the, a very good example of the optical mouse. It has pins in it to connect to the uh, CPU. Whereas the USB mount is a common USB we are familiar with. That's the difference between the optical mouse and then the USB mouse. The USB mouse is a type of mouse that is multi-dimensional. Uh, it is multi-dimensional. Uh, uh, it can be used alongside, you know, on the laptop and then desktop computer. So we can use it both on the laptop and then the desktop computer. These are the differences between the optical mouse and then the USB mouse. In our next lesson, we shall be discussing other examples of uh, our imputed device. I thank you for listening.